Hey guys. So, I'm kind of at a crossroads right now. And uh, I'm thinking and leaning into my intuition as I decide my next steps, yeah? Um, I've just been guided to turn my messes into messages. <laughs> and hopefully help others who are on a similar wavelength or path to find ways to jumpstart their own journey as they find themselves, you know, in this lifetime. And sometimes, as I learn myself, I hit those fucking forks in the road, yeah? And I believe it's super important for me as I go through these that I share them because it's not often shared in the realm of healing. We have to know that there are always trials before triumphs. And I don't know, I guess I'm guided to show how step by step in my own way, how, you know, I guess we can all get to our own fucking best lives. Yeah. So I take everything into consideration when I connect with my higher self and my guides and angels through meditation and, you know, just that inner silence that I talk about all the time is so important. Um, and recently as I was doing this, I got hit with a download. <laughs> it was something about rainbows. I mean, fuck. I kept hearing about them. Seeing them in card readings or, or on TV. A woman had fucking rainbow nails for crying out loud. <laughs> I believe in synchronicities, guys. And they have not steered me wrong yet. Huh? <laughs> Shit. My ass even mentioned that friggin' Spongebob meme with the rainbow hands in the last fucking episode. <laughs> Do you see my synchronicities, people? Hmm? <laughs> it's, it's available to all of us. We just have to be open to them. And trust that when we're seeing them and our intuition, you know, clicks in a place that, that's real. You know? Uh... It's, it's my guide showing me an abundance of fucking rainbows. <laughs> and so, of course, I'm like, why? You know? Why the repetitive rainbow? <laughs> so I sit, and I wonder about it, yeah? And then it hit me. It all had to do with who I have become as I move past all that isn't good for me how I want my life to be, how I know my life is meant to be. Mm -hmm. So as I'm sitting there thinking about it, I get this saying in my head. Uh, and I, I probably saw it on Pinterest. <laughs> I had to guess it, it sounds Pinteresty, <laughs> And you probably already know it. Yeah, um, you probably heard it too. And yes, okay, for the record, I do understand the sentiment and the feeling around it, okay? And I'm not fucking knocking it. So if you resonate with it, don't get all pissy at me for my own damn opinion, okay? <laughs> but it uh, it did. It popped into my head as, a, I guess, a big center point around what my guides were trying to communicate to me through the rainbow. <laughs> uh... I think it's something like, um, they told her she couldn't stand in the storm. She whispered back, I am the storm, or, or I became the storm, or some shit like that. Hmm? You know that one? Uh, please forgive me if I didn't quote it correctly, but I, but you get the gist. Eh? I, I think it's kind of close, what I said. <laughs> and I've seen it. I've seen a lot of women use it as an emotional empowerment feeling kind of statement, I guess. And I think that's great. I, I really do. I do. Um, but my guides had a different approach for me around this. 
Hmm? So yeah, anyway, <laughs> so I, you know, hear that quote in my head as I'm doing my own thing, and my higher self says, like, fucking loud and clear to me, you guys, no, no, not the storm, you're the rainbow after the storm, be the rainbow, and oh my fucking god, you guys, <laughs> did that hit me? I don't know. It, it just felt so right for who I am that I, I smile to myself fucking out loud. Okay. <laughs> because that's my path. That's who I am. I can weather every storm. I am also the storm too. Yes, I get that to some extent, but truth be told, I do connect more with being that rainbow. The beauty, the light, the love, after all the hardness, through all the hardness, all the darkness of those raging storms. I choose to be love. I choose to know that light is always within me, waiting to burst out in that multicolored array of gorgeous vibrancy that as soon as one sees it, the entirety of the fucking storm is completely forgotten. And life proceeds beautifully once again. Hmm? Ah, <laughs> I fucking love that so very much. <laughs> and it's not just me, you know? You can be that way too. And this is why I share. And it's not because, you know, I'm not strong, you know, or it, it, not because I've never felt a storm. Trust, okay? I have had more than my fair share just like all of you have. But I choose not to associate myself as the darkness of the raging storm. No. I choose to know that I am that fucking rainbow, <laughs> pushing our way through the clouds the whole time. Never giving in, never giving up, but never losing the brightest light she has, which is her love. See, to me, the storm is an illusion. I've learned that whatever happens to be raging outside of me, if I go within into my own heart space, I can so clearly see how those areas are inauthentic to me. In these storms, instead of associating myself as part of them, and allowing myself to feel out of control or overwhelmed in my own heart space, I'm reminded of my trueness. I'm connected to source and I am love at my very core. I know this. I am the rainbow. And, be and, and, and so because of what I know, all these illusions of storms simply fall away. They don't actually even exist at all. Yeah? I'm sorry, the neighbor's dogs are barking. Whatever. <laughs> um, I don't know. I found in all my situations that the love inside me is the magnet that pulls my ass through it all. <laughs> it's not to say I've not ever felt the effects of such storms. Of course I have. Fucking human. But to attach myself as them doesn't serve my highest good. It only Cory, um, Co Cory. I don't know a Cory, but hey, hey, Cory. <laughs> it only causes worry. You see what I did there? Causes and worry made Cory. <laughs> uh, it, it only causes worry and hopelessness. And once I realize that the outside world where the storm rages is only a reflection of my internal self, I relax. I relax and, and became, metaphorically of course, the fucking rainbow. <laughs> because I choose inner peace. I don't know. I, I guess by truly caring for my inner world, I make better choices that are aligned with my own personal truths and love. And I know I'm the creator of all I experience. So I choose to laugh at the rain 
and shine instead as the rainbow. Always, I try. I've just come to know when I align with my truth, my own sense of love, then nothing can harm me. And that, my friends, is what we humans would call heaven on earth. Hmm? <laughs> See, if we can learn to view everything outside of us as manipulated reality, we will understand that the real world has always been in our hearts. And I know it sounds cheesy, okay? But fuck, when something is so good, <clears throat> like cheese, <laughs> then that's how it fucking sounds, okay? <laughs> we, we've been conditioned to believe that we need tangible evidence, right? We, we see the storms, but not the rainbow until the storm passes. But in truth, the vibrations of light are within the storm, and so the rainbow is always present. The intangible evidence of hope and love and peace. These are the strongest powers we have as human beings. And these truths can never be taken from us. They belong to us. Because no matter where we go or what we do, they remain part of us. But the thing is, is, is we choose. We choose. We choose every moment. Will we allow these beautiful rainbowy feelings in our fucking lives? as the blessings we seek, or will we stay as storms and worry, fear, feel damn uncomfortable in those moments? Again, the choice is always ours. One of the hardest things we learn as we heal ourselves is, is that surrendering and allowing the storm to pass is sometimes difficult for our human minds to comprehend. <laughs> We want to control the winds, so to speak, yeah? But in trying to do so, we'll only grow tired, and the winds will simply continue to blow. We must learn to ride the storm knowing that we are the light, the rainbow, the entire fucking time. When the control is let go of, so is the resistance. It's a big fucking skill you guys we learn as we grow it's 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 us learning to get out of our own fucking way yeah a surrender to the storm doesn't mean you're weak it means you're strong enough to know that trying to control it with your mind is only going to create a limitation on your outcome I mean, who's to say this perceived challenge you face isn't just an illusion or an old projection of some sort? Look at the bigger picture. Look at the bonds we all share and see that power that lies there that allows us to push past old fears. <sighs> I need a drink. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, I say, put time. Put time and awareness into resolving those storms. But don't make yourself part of them. Because maybe dwelling in the storm and making it your persona is what is actually holding you back. Put your awareness into them so they don't continue to play out. Because honestly, if you stay stuck in the clouds, you'll never know. Never see that a glorious new day is coming up just over the horizon. Mm -hmm. I guess being conscious of the storms doesn't mean that we are them. As we expand, our empathy also expands with us. Through these storms, we should learn how to connect and maintain our own energies. We need to protect our energies too. And there's a few methods. <laughs> That one I like is calling in the violet flame. And plus, doesn't that just sound epic? The violet flame. Ooh. <laughs> but no, it's simple, really. Basically, you picture a violet glowing fire all around you. Or some people use like a violet prism of some sort, yeah? Violet, you're turning violet, violet. <laughs> You see, it's, uh, 
you see it as a protection, okay, for what is not good for you. And as you go about your days, you imagine that this barrier is transmuting anything negative into positive energy. I remember, energy is all around us. It never goes away. It just becomes something else. Yeah? It's the same fucking principle as the placebo effect, okay? Which has been scientifically proven. So don't fucking knock it. <laughs> we control the mind. And so we control how the mind reacts to storms that could poten- potentially harm us. I don't know. Why is it? that we will carry weapons to protect our physical bodies, but refuse to fight for our energetic bodies in the same way. Because we can't see them? (laughs) Well, I'll help you dismiss that logic right fucking now, okay? Yeah, listen to the radio. Radio frequencies are transmitted through the air invisibly, and yet you do not deny being able to hear the songs, do you? (laughs) What about your money? Your money is never physically seen by you. Not today, where, you know, we all use debit cards or fuck, mostly direct deposit instead of cash, right? So you don't see your money, but you rely on the invisibleness of it every day to spend on what you want. You're relying on the energy of the numbers on your account, and that's it. Do you get what I'm saying? Energy is everything and everywhere, and having some sort of energy shield for what you don't want to hit you is not a bad thing. I don't know. It fucking makes sense to me. (laughs) And I'm a lot fucking happier because of it, if you couldn't tell. (laughs) But you always have the right to choose what's best for you. And, And I, you know, I do this for myself because, well, honestly... Over the course of my own journey, I've had one deep, true realization that, I don't know, just woke me up. And it's one that I will never forget. I I won't allow myself to forget it, really. And it's this. I had to lose it all in order to gain it all. It's what keeps me going, really. And since I'm rebuilding myself and my life, I'm not going to let someone else's bullshit energy disrupt all I've worked so hard to overcome with my own. (laughs) Call me selfish. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) I just think that being able to maintain clear, bright energy for me helps me see through the illusions or the storms that may potentially be blocking or causing some sort of disruption or, I don't know, disorder in my life. And I've had quite enough of that shit. Thank you very much. (laughs) And if I can feel that way easily by just imagining a protection around me, well then who the fuck am I hurting with that? No one. Shit. I don't know. Try it for a week and see how you feel. Never do I force anything on anyone. You all should know that by now. But I'm guided to help guide where I can, and so here you go. (laughs) Take from it what you will. Uh... But if you do, you know, you want some guidance, uh, uh, a way to start, I'll share how I do it each day. So I use the violet flame in conjunction with the evil eye and the great angelic protection of Archangel Michael, or Mikey, as I finally refer to him. <laughs> what? He likes it. <laughs> and if you follow my YouTube, uh, you know I'm very much connected with this Archangel, um, Many past lives intertwined with him and his kick-ass giant sword of truth. I channel with him often, and I've gotten so many truths and downloads. Uh, He's one of my favorite energetic protectors, he really is. And a lot of people resonate with him. He's just all-encompassing, I guess. I don't know. Very deep downloads with him, and maybe I'll share some of those one day, but for now... There, there's many that are meant for my healing path alone. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so here you go. I'll, uh, I'll protect my energies now and you can see, you can use this or something similar, you know, in your own words and life. Okay. Ready? All right. Here we go. <sighs> May every evil eye that fall upon me go blind and every ill intention be returned to sender, transmuted into love. 
May the universe give karma to the sender as the universe sees fit. Now, side note with this, I never send ill intentions back. If somebody wants to, you know, send bad vibes to me, that's on them. I don't send them back. Um, I don't, I don't want that karma for myself. So I choose to send back only love and let the higher powers decide the rest. Hmm? Um, then I say, I call upon Archangel Michael. Please protect myself, my energies, my children and their energies and all those that I truly love. May they be near or far from any and all negative intentions, actions, or even our own thoughts, fears, worries, and doubts that do not serve our highest good. I ask that you work in conjunction with the violet flame and take these energies and transmute them into love. May they be absorbed by us if it is what is needed most today or bounced off into the universe so the universe can give love to those who might need it more. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. And I thank you. Boom. Done. Protected. <laughs> and it doesn't even have to be said out loud. I mean, I like to. <laughs> I'm a talker. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but again, it's whatever works for who you are. And do you see how I always incorporate the good for all involved? Even those who wish me ill, I still wish them well. Because I know we're all connected. And that's important, especially on a healing journey, because we are all connected. And because we are, I hope this episode gets you thinking of your own path and how you too can be the rainbow and not only your life, but the lives you touch around you. I just learned that we need to stop looking at love as being a weakness. Hmm. Feeling love for ourselves and for others is the strongest energy we have. It takes a lot of fucking courage to bear your heart and express your deepest vulnerability. It really does. Because it causes a sense of discomfort. And through discomfort, we grow. And I don't know. I just feel like the more humanity can realize that fact and open up to their true hearts, the more we approach a better world overall. Hmm. To me, that rainbow looks like hope. And hope sees the unseen. Hope feels the intangible and, and hope achieves the impossible. Hmm? So here's to hope, you guys. And may you all embrace that damn rainbow. <laughs> okay. All the best, my friends. That's all I have for now. You know, that old SpongeBob means kind of growing on me. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you all later. Bye.